every now and then I like to re-review things that I've already done in what I like to call a closer examination or simply a follow-up review. And this is a piece of equipment I bought myself a while ago to replace uh, an existing lighting rig that had failed. Okay, uh, I'll post links to the videos in involved below. And I thought that this would be quite a good piece of equipment uh, because you know, 36 LEDs. 36 LEDs versus the three that I'd had before that gave me such a great picture, such a great quality light. Uh, maybe not like the very best, but for a man of my limited means, yeah, it certainly did seem to be a bit, bit of a step up. Uh, but unfortunately, there's a number of problems I found with this. The first one I've managed to resolve, these particular little screw attachments I've now managed to loosen up, but even then, when they're actually fully tightened, they're still, as they are now, they're still not that secure. You can, if you really force it, then you can sort of pull it free, uh, especially when it's on that particular attachment there. And the plastic itself feels just a bit on the cheap side, not too cheap, but not super quality either. Um, which is a bit of a shame because the quality of the plastic on the last one that I had, which was by the same company, Manfrotto, if that's how you pronounce it, was substantially more higher quality. And it had a better idea behind the uh, the LEDs here. As you can see here, it's just a black background, whereas on the one I had before, it had a more reflective surface there. But the problem there, of course, is any light being shone backwards isn't getting reflected back as well as it could do otherwise. The rig I've now bought myself, which is under here, okay, does have, first of all, more LEDs yet again to give even better quality pictures, and it's got the reflective surface on the back, so it all works out a lot nicer. This, on the other hand, well, if you'll excuse me, I'll have to just put the lights on like this. I'll just, I don't want to blind you or anything, so please be warned, it's going to, you know, you can actually see, oh my god, it's full of stars. You can actually see the reflection of the new rig I've got set up temporarily under the camera uh, because I don't actually have any kind of triple shoe uh, horn joint thing. Uh, yeah, hot, hot shoe adapter, that's it. Uh, I don't have one of those yet. I have got one on order and when that is actually in place, this thing here, this camera, is going to have such more in the way of options. But you can see right now it's flashing as well, which I think is possibly just a fault with this particular unit. There must be a loose wire somewhere, but that can be resolved by just turning it down a bit. And even then, okay, we're not losing much in the way of picture quality, much, well, we're not losing much in the way of light quality, but we are losing just a little bit of a sense of satisfaction, I suppose. Sometimes even when you have turned it down a bit more, though, it still ends up flashing, so you end up you know, just not getting quite what you paid for. And this was about £45 I paid for it. Uh, so not that impressed in that record, although that might just be a fault with this unit. Also, when you do actually have it set up, what I'll have to do here is just carefully turn my proper rig off. You can see how all the light changes. You can now see the shadow there. This is basically it. You're getting just that circular light. So I'll just hold this over the position I had it before, and you can see it's just not really working properly. I got I got better light quality, seriously, out of the three LED setup I had before. And this is really more sort of meant to, from what I've seen of other reviews, it's more sort of designed to help aid. So if I had it at an angle like this, or like this, it would more sort of help back up everything else. And even if I put it down about here, that's not really doing anything. Uh, some people have two or three of these going at any point in time. And they've got them all positioned at different angles. And you can see the results do work quite nicely. It does do exactly what it's supposed to do in that record, which is to effectively just get rid of shadows more than anything else. So this kind of light, not really that appropriate to use by itself, but in conjunction with others, if you've got, you know, some decent... Uh, you know, some de decent coverage, it'll probably help, and so long as it's not actually semi-broken like this one might be. I'll probably keep it and just use that as a sort of 
emergency backup for other things. But the thing that really, really annoys me the most about this is the battery pack. It is a pain in the arse to open. Okay, I'm not exaggerating here. It's awkward at the best of times to take off. Even more awkward to actually get back in. Okay, I'm just going to... You have to be very, very careful. You have to be pushing at all angles. And sometimes it makes cracking noises like that, which makes you convinced you've broken it. And as you can see, it doesn't go entirely flush. That's actually probably the best attempt I've had so far at getting it in. Gaffor, gaffor, snigger, snigger, tee hee. Uh, but yeah, that's the best attempt I've had otherwise. Most of the time, you've had this side sticking out. Okay, and having to pull it out and put it back in again, and just cursing that you ever bought the damn thing. I'm going to put that down to the fact that A, the plastic quality, while not the worst I've ever came across, is certainly not exactly a de really decent quality. And it's at such an awkward angle. Couldn't you have just moved it into the centre and had it more sort of symmetrical? I mean, when you actually do manage to take it off, you don't entirely have a sense of satisfaction that it's perfectly straight. And I'm trying to look at this through the viewfinder to just verify that, but uh, it's a bit difficult to confirm in this regard. I don't know if it's maybe the weight of the logo possibly throwing things off a bit, or if it's just because of the shape of uh, the contours of the plastic, it just gets annoying. And the batteries themselves, they feel a bit awkward to put it in. Uh, and sometimes it just doesn't feel like they're actually in in some cases, especially if you look down here, it just doesn't feel like they're actually connecting properly. They do, but you just don't feel satisfied that they're doing it. So, in all honesty, that's got to be one to avoid. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.